Good morning, good noon, and a lovely, beautiful evening. Global talk show by Business Bar Academy, Netherlands. And today we are back again with a multi-talented person, a dynamic personality from UK. And he is none other than Matt Kiddos. Welcome Matt to our show today. It's an honor to host you today for myself. Hello, how are you doing? Yes. Well, Matt Allen need not any introduction because he's a highly influential person on social media and especially LinkedIn. But still, he is the founder and CEO of Kiddos Social Benefit Networks Positive Solutions. And you are the miracle and a global speaker too. So let's start this journey with Matt Kiddos, Matt Allen. And you are the miracle, Matt. So my global audience would love to know your incredible journey. Thank you. Um, yeah, so my name is actually Matt Allen. I'm not Matt Kudos. <laughs> uh, Kudos is my company, um, but we'll come to that in a minute. Um, I guess that I'm here to help people understand a little bit about the difference that they can make in their lives, in their family's life, in their community. Um, and so sharing part of my story is key to that, I think. Um, I've got an extensive story and I'm not going to cover all of it because we certainly don't have time, um, but maybe I can pull on a couple of things. Um, you're a little familiar yourself with my health story. Um, I have brittle type 1 diabetes. Uh, brittle type 1 diabetes is different to type 1 diabetes in the sense of it's not really controllable. It more controls me in some senses, um, where a normal diabetic is a very much straight or just jittery line, my line of blood sugar control is like the Himalayas, it's up and down constantly, uh, which represents some problems um, and causes some difficulties in life, but it also causes some complications in terms of my body and my mental health. Um, and after 35 years of that, it's a bit of a struggle. Um, so I've got particular difficulties in the sense that I'm partially sighted. I um, have something very strange called gastroparesis, gastro meaning stomach and paresis meaning paralyzed. So where most people's stomachs are doing this all the time, mine is just stood there, not doing anything at all. It's only gravity that makes the food go through into my intestines. Um, so I also get around from big place to big place on a wheelchair, an electric wheelchair that I use quite a lot. I can walk with a walking stick. Um, and I've also experienced things like depression from a very young age, uh, struggling with wanting to commit suicide quite often. Then my body trying to kill me on top of that. Um, I suffered with PTSD around about eight years ago. <laughs> Um, and I've, we were talking about this a few minutes ago, I, I used to take a lot more tablets, but for instance, now I take quite a few tablets still, and obviously my insulin. Um, but quite a few of the difficulties that I have, they are difficulties that would normally keep most people in bed, um, if not in a hospital bed. And for a large portion of my life, I was in bed for 20, 24 hours. Um, but I made the difference with myself. I found myself in a position where I was about 99% blind. Um, and that changed over time because it was just a matter of um, incidents rather than longevity. It, it was always going to be a short term thing. It was because of some operations. Um, at the time, I was on morphine and fentanyl. And I was addicted to those very high levels. Um, and I suffered with PTSD from an operation that went wrong. I realized to myself that I could either continue to barely live, survive with those things, or I could make a change in myself, figure out how to get myself to a point that I can move on and potentially bring a big idea that I'd had in my life for over 10 years 
and bring that to happen so that then I can bring a different slant to medical research through money, through profit, through kudos. Um, so that's a bit about my journey to that point. And now um, I started work again back in June of last year. I had stood up against some difficulties trying to get people to believe in me and people to accept that this was something that people would want um, and that it was something that was beneficial to people and therefore the people who invest in businesses locally, the people who support businesses locally, the government locally would want to be involved with that. And I found that that didn't work, so I went to LinkedIn to find myself some very dear friends who support me and help me and very much get the thing of what I do because really it's it's called kudos it's called social benefit networks and the key to that is benefit in the middle social networks at the moment don't really benefit people in the ways that they should social benefit networks are about putting benefit to everybody in that social network setup so yeah that's my journey and i think i'm sitting in this lovely office with a lovely view um Great. i'm doing reasonably well I've still got quite a long way to go but my journey is very different to what it was a number of years ago where I was stuck in my bed wanting to just basically give up there's always a better option uh, Matt this is not only your journey and today when you have told me about your journey with my global audience I must say whatever hurdles you have crossed whatever adversities you had faced in your life, that has actually made you a perfect, strong person. And you have never ever given up on your dreams or you got knee down with your sickness. Rather, you have made this as your positive attitude, no matter how uh, adversities were after your life, but the way you had handled them with your positive attitude, I really, really appreciate this. And this is really commendable. And this will be inspiring because you are the miracle stack. I am saying that really you are the miracle. You're really inspiring people today. And the global audience who are watching us today must be filled with love, zest, and positivity. And they can say only one thing. You are the miracle. And let's move on with Matt. Well, this is really beautiful. And the answer which you have given is has touched millions of today. This is really kiddos, I can say to you, kiddos. <laughs> Great one. Well, Matt, uh, moving to this loveliest global talk show with Matt Allen, I would love to know what kind of challenges any of you had already explained, but still those challenges had you faced in your life which were really like a monster in your life and they tried to knock you down but with your determination you just started forward and i would love to know those challenges along with my global audience yes okay um so first of all i would like to correct you because it's not me that is the miracle it's everybody else um we'll come to that in a bit because i'm sure that's one of your questions is going to be about what is the meaning of you or the miracle um you want to know about the monsters that i face well exactly exactly monsters that everybody faces their poor health they're not having enough money they're having difficulties finding somewhere to live now they're finding money to pay to keep the electricity on at home or to make sure that my mum has enough heating in her cold house where she lives so that then she's not going to freeze to death in the middle of winter. Um, those are some of the difficulties that we're mostly all experiencing to some degree at the moment. Um, one of the main difficulties that I've had is that I had experience when I was younger where I wasn't able to trust the people that I thought I should be able to, um, the people of my family. Um, 
And because of that, I believe that I ended up with the diabetes because people believe that it's due to stress and things like that that caused that to happen. It's not a medical opinion. It's just my personal opinion. Um, and because of those difficulties of really being able to receive love and trust the people who should be able to love me and I would expect love me and therefore would function in just the normal way, um, the biggest difficulties that I've had to face are the ones in my mind, the ones in my brain, the negativity, the difficulties in believing that I can do something or I can make a change, difficulties in thinking that I'm worth something or that I can make a difference or that I have something miraculous to offer the world. Um, and that's something that many people face at least once or twice in their life, not necessarily all the time, but if we could make a difference that would change that for people, if we could inspire them through all of our stories, my story is no different to anybody else's. We all have difficult circumstances to overcome. But the difference in stories is not just the difficult situations to overcome, but how to overcome them. And then not just helping ourselves to overcome them, but to be able to help other people to overcome them. Um, and do that in a way that's not about making money out of them, but about benefiting everybody back to that social benefit network thing. Um, the miracle is that everybody can contribute. Love is the key thing that matters in the world, not war, not hate. It's not what people are about. It's about the universal language of smiling and knowing that everybody, no matter what language they talk, they want to get along, they want to be friendly, they want to support each other, and they want to love each other. And that's, for me, the difficulty that I've had to overcome over the years is realizing that I'm worth something, and then other people are worth something. And to put away all of those hateful things that really manipulate our lives, and instead be about giving something back and realizing that everybody is worth something. This is really super question, awesome, but... Matt. Matt, really, this is great one. And after listening your answer, I will say only one thing. The kind of challenges which you had told me, uh, which you had showcased, challenges are really buddies. I must say that these buddies will help us to grow in life. And without challenges, it's just like a lunch without salt. You, you won't like those lunches, you know. You, the lunches will be a spicy, it should be salty, and then only you can enjoy those your lunch. So we have to treat our life into like that lunch only. And these spices, these salty things are like challenges, which in every field of your life, every turn of your life, will give millions of opportunities. So when challenges strike to you, we can say only one thing, just like buddies, who will motivate us, who will inspire us, in every challenge, there is a hidden opportunity. So we have to focus on the hidden opportunity. And that what Matt, you have told in a beautiful way, in a very lucid manner. So hats off to you for this lovely answer. And it has inspired today so many people who are watching us live and who are going to watch this video later on. So great answer. Matt, keep it up. Commendable one. Well, now moving to this beautiful journey from ordinary to super rocks ordinary, I would love to know what is actually Kidos and what is you are the miracle. Yes. Okay. Um, so I can't tell people on your show what Kudos is. The reason for that is that there is scope for people to take my idea and change it into something very bad. Um, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm not going to tell people what Kudos is. Um, if anybody wants to know and they're willing to tell me about them so that then I understand whether I can explain it to them, they can find me either through you or through LinkedIn. Let's talk about You Are the Miracle and what that actually means. So You Are the Miracle relates to the uniqueness and the individuality of each and every one of us. 
there are big companies in this world who currently use our data, our uniqueness, to make a vast amount of money to the extent where they're able to contribute to the decisions of our governments because they've got so much empowerment through their money that they make. And that's because of, again, our individual traits, our characteristics, our individual clicks that we make on a computer screen or a tap on a phone that make up our digital fingerprint, us. Now, in the olden days, many years ago, and perhaps this isn't a good thing to talk about, but let's be real, we had slavery, and that was slavery that was caused off of the sweat from people's backs. It was effort that people made to plow the fields or to build the buildings and do the things that the people in power wanted them to do. And that was because the law was that you belong to those people. And now, instead, what happens is that our data through law and terms and conditions, when we join apps and uh, go on the internet sites, they take our data and they tell us that it's theirs because of the law and the terms and conditions that they exploit us all through. Um, now, there are ways and means of changing that. And part of that is that we, with our unique data, if we can find a system that we can take the control back of that and use that for some good and use it to profit ourselves and the world in general, rather than just these big tech companies, that's surely something worth considering. And that's why I'm quite popular on LinkedIn is because I know a way to do that. In fact, I'm building a system that allows it, enables it, and proves that that makes a difference. So that's the first meaning of you are the miracle, because it's our uniqueness, our individual characteristics, the very fact that we as an individual person can later on make a choice to use Kudos instead of a different platform to do certain things. And that means that the miracle of us starts to change the world. So that brings us to the second meaning of you are the miracle. The second meaning is this. Each and every one of us has something special about us, not just our clicks on a screen, but our personalities, our characteristics inside, the person we've become over the years, and the person that we will be, the creativity that we have, the ability to present shows on this wonderful program that you have, and all of the other things that happen in the world out there. Except there's many people who, just like me and many other situations, they're controlled and not able to live their miracles, those wonderful things, because, again, they don't have enough money for the correct medicine, if correct medicine is such a thing, or they can't afford food, and so they have to go work three jobs just to pay for that, or they can't get a house. And in America, if you look at some of the streets there, a first world country, there's people living in tents because they haven't got a home to live. And those are just some of the things that we can talk about. Um, but the difference would be that with Kudos and some of the benefits that it brings and demonstrates, we can change that, whereby people would have at least a reasonable basis of living so that then everybody has part of the abundance of what is in the world to be able to not just survive, but to thrive. And once that that happens, it means that they can start having a bit more time, the thing that we have limit on because we can't make more time but they get a little bit of extra time that they wouldn't have had before because they don't have the stress or the second or third job to work and therefore they can concentrate on their miracle and share that with their family and their friends and their communities and that is the second meaning of you are the miracle because the ultimate reward is that People don't just get some reward back for being an individual, but the reward is that because we're all individuals, but part of the humanity and part of the human race, we can all contribute something much more beautiful than being slaves from our data to the world around us. So that's the second part of You Are the Miracle. 
Wow. And I am so, so amazed, Matt, when you told the different version and the different meaning of you are the miracle. So it is not only you are the miracle, it's all about the world is miracle. And the way you have told about it's different parameters, even thank you so much for enlightening some of the facts, data, even I was not aware of all these things. So thank you so much for telling in such a great manner, in such an easy manner, you made very easy to understand, to grasp and to all the global audience, they all must be enjoying this session with Matt. So he told about you are the miracle, how you, he dealt with his problems, solutions too, because problem is a part of a life and that has to be move on. So thank you Matt for this loveliest answer. And moving ahead, I would love to know what is Matt mission? What he has planned for his coming years now? Okay, so this is no small feat, especially for a guy who was literally <laughs> at best normal not so long ago. Oh. Uh, my, my business is about changing the world. My change is not just making a different shop on a high street in every other city. My difference is not just uh, making a new style of teapot that people can not burn them themselves on the side when they touch it, for example, just silly things. My thing is about making real difference for every person in the world. My aim is to bring that to everybody, to every country in the world, because every country has people and therefore every person should be entitled to be able to access a change that would benefit them and their family and their community. But the bigger idea is not just my company Kudos. The bigger idea is social benefit networks. The bigger idea is that Kudos deals with one particular market. Um, and it's just coincidental that that market relates to our data. And it generates a large amount of money that can demonstrate the difference that Kudos makes. And Kudos is a social benefit network. So if we could imagine some of those other markets that I've already mentioned, and that's just a few of them. And the difference that if some other company was to look at those and think, let's try and make a social benefit network out of food or out of energy or out of housing, and make some real changes to the way that the world of business is done, where it's not just about the people at the top, but it's done the proper way, where it's about customers and staff. Those are the real changes that we need in our world today as much as tomorrow. One thing that I talk about all the time, you're familiar with the fact that I do LinkedIn live events where I um, have some friends along and we talk about subjects that are relevant and interesting for people because they matter to people. And one of those subjects more recently has been legacy and about the fact that we need to change the world for our children, but not just for our children, but our children's children and forevermore. Because we've got enough war, we've got enough hate, and we've had enough of that for the last thousands of years. We're not in the dark ages anymore. It's 2023. It's about time that we changed those things and made the world a better place for everybody. So that's what I'm trying to do. Great one. And Matt, I must say this, the way you are doing wonders, especially on LinkedIn, is really, really commendable. Uh, let me tell to my audience that Matt is doing really great work. You can see his uh, enormous, and you can say the beautiful work, the hats of work, the commendable. I don't have any adjectives left for your work today, Matt. So please log into LinkedIn and please take care of the works and see how dedicatingly he is doing, how perseveringly he is doing, and the way he is motivating people is really commendable and brilliant. So I can say the king of the LinkedIn is Matt Helen, and the way he is promoting people about their dreams about their visions and especially the inspiration that part is really really amazing and i congratulate you matt for your uh, wishes for your projects for your dreams for your mission and vision to be successful 
and acknowledge and accomplish all the dreams which you have seen for your future. So God bless you and dart forward in your life with great, great zest and great energy. So great one, great wishes to you. Thank you. You are just too kind. And secondly, normally I'm in charge because normally it's my LinkedIn live and I would have muted you by now because I don't like people saying nice things about me. It's not about me. It's about the difference that we can all make and the difference that we all need. Just Definitely. We need that but, change. But, but you are really transforming the people because when you are motivating automatically, you are, you know, recharging people with your positivity, with your ambience. And that's the beautiful thing in the world. We are doing a lot of uh, programs, agendas, conferences, but that will only help when you can inspire one single man, when you can transform a single person into a positive person. And that's what you are doing. So I can say you are the miracle. And that lover, that tag goes, uh, perfectly on Matt Allen. Well, moving to this beautiful journey with Matt, I would love to know what is Matt's message to our global audience who are really, really waiting for this from time immemorial, we can say. Yes. My message to everyone is this, and I've, I've alluded to it a little bit already, but we're manipulated and told certain things about how we feel about other people, about how we hate them and they hate us, and therefore we hate ourselves. That's a distinct thing that happens in our world every day, and many people feel that. In fact, a lot of the people that I speak to on LinkedIn, uh, they tell me that that's how they feel. They tell me that they're told that, but they don't feel that. I am. Um, I said that I get around on a wheelchair from big place to big place. I um I travel on the metro. You can't really see it, but it's just out there. That's where I catch it, and I get help from a couple of people, different people every time. And they always ask me about what I do because I'm in a wheelchair and I wear a suit. Um, so we have a very interesting chat, and most of those people have become my friends, like the people on LinkedIn. And what we talk about is. The real issues in life, the real issues of wanting to help but not being able to, having difficulties locally that we just can't surmount because it's like having sticky plasters that we're sticking on the small problems that exist in our local areas, when really what we want is to be able to help ourselves, help our family and help all of our community, and whether that community is just this place out here or it's all over the world. That's our community. And really, it's about the message being we're not needing to hate each other. We're not needing to listen to that message. What we need to listen to is our hearts and look at the smiles on other people's faces, share that, and realize that we don't need to spill innocent blood to be able to make a living. We don't need businesses that only think about their shareholders at the top of the tree. We need to think about the people at the bottom of the tree that make all the roots and make an existence for those people at the top. Because it's those people at the bottom that are feeding the tree. So let's make a change. Let's make a positive change. Let's make a difference that means that we're all about love and peace and we can enjoy healthier, wealthier, happier people. I think that about something. Amazing. Amazing, Matt. And thank you so much on behalf of my global audience. Also, I'm telling what a message, powerful message you have delivered today on the Global Talk Show platform. Yes, love, peace, prosperity, helping people are just like deeds of a God, which we are bestowed with the benefits, with the gifts of God, and that should be spread across the globe. So once again, thank you so much, Matt, for coming to our show and spreading a lot of positive vibes. And you know, you have energized, you have recharged this platform with your positivity, with your determination, and you have proved only one thing. If you have decided something in your life, if you are determined for your dreams, nobody can stop you. So keep darting forward, keep inspiring people. And Matt, I will say, 
you are the real miracle. You are the real positive person, which you are doing with your positive attitude. So God bless you. Keep it up. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you so much, my loveliest audience, for always inspiring us, for loving us. So keep doing that. Stay happy. Helen Hati. Bye-bye now from India.